everybody, welcome back to another episode of Vindex Engineering. On today's episode, we are going to go through and add some VLANs to our Dream Machine Pro. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go from the dashboard to settings in the bottom right hand corner. And then we're going to click on networks. And as you can see, we already have a few VLANs set up here. We're going to create another one. We're going to create uh, VLAN 15 and we're going to call this one work. So we'll hit add new network and we'll call this 015 VLAN work. Now if you want to add content filtering to it, if you have kids or something like that and you want to filter uh, stuff out, you can click on those, choose which filter you want. Uh, we're going to go into the advanced settings for it. And right now we, we change this to 15, that's the VLAN ID. That way we can have it match what our network name is. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to uncheck auto scale network. Uh, this is the only way to get it to display what the IP scheme is going to be for that uh, network. So once you uncheck that, you can see the gateway IP and subnet. We are going to change this because we're not running a 192 network. And we are going to change this to 10.2.15.254. Make that a slash 24. And then we're going to do the same thing for the DHCP range. We're going to do 10.2.15.100 to 10.2.15.200. So once you have those settings put in place, uh, you can scroll down to the bottom. If you want to change anything else, you can. Uh, the gateway is 10.2.15.254. And then you hit Add Network. So now when you look in here, you can see that we have uh, VLAN 15, the work network, and it is set to the 10.2.15 IP address for that uh, network scheme. And that is how you create a VLAN. Uh, the easiest way to keep track of these is if you make the octets match what the VLAN number is. Granted, you can't always make that happen, but uh, if you do that, it makes it fairly simple for one, remembering what VLAN you're on, but two, uh, adding devices, because you can keep them all the same. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short little video on creating a new network or VLAN inside of uh, Dream Machine Pro. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys.